Today I want to show you the current content list for the MetaTrader 5 Martin Guy class that I just created. So after purchasing the course, you will get a link to the, to the membership um, area and after logging in, you will quickly see the, um, the first page of the membership area. It's, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's just a little welcome. And then here in the upper right corner, um, you will find the menu with the courses. And after um, enrolling for this uh, Martin Guy class, you will find it up here. So if you click on this, you will see the complete content list and I will show you yeah, the content in this video so you know exactly what you can expect. So um, maybe let's have a look. I mean, here, this is just um, a page where you can see everything, but it's a little bit better, I think, if we go through it here so we can see the chapters. So first of all, there's a little welcome video where I tell you what you can expect in the course and how you should work on the course. And it's really important that you watch this video because I give you some tips how you can get the most of it, like uh, programming everything on your own and not only taking the programs and compiling them for uh, to use them. Because if you do not write the code on your own, you will learn exactly nothing. So it's really important to go through the video step by step to, to learn everything. So this uh, MediaTrader class is a complete course. So you, you will find all the basic chapters here. So we will start off by talking about the MediaTrader and the Meta Editor. We will talk about properties, the documentation, how to use it, write a small program. We talk about variables, variable data types, operators, control structures, functions, arrays, enumerations, and we write a first small script. So you can see even if you have no programming language at all, you will learn all the basics. So it's not a problem if you are not an experienced programmer, you will still learn everything you need to know. And there's so much value in this basic chapter. Also, the good thing is there is no limitation when it comes to the time that you can watch these videos. So if you have a question about a specific variable or a control structure after, let's say, one or two days or one or two weeks, you can always come back, watch the video again and go through it step by step to yeah, get a little... Um, to re refresh your knowledge here a little bit. So the next chapter is then all about orders, deals and positions. This is important because in the meter trader, it's not like you only have orders, like it is um, like in the meter trader five, you have orders, deals and positions. There's a little bit um, of a difference compared to the meter trader four, where you only have orders. In the meter trader four, this might seem a little bit easier, but in the meter trader five, it's also easy once you understand how it works. So we have you have orders, deals and positions, and we need this because in one of the EAs that we write, we yeah kind of have to address the deals and the history also. So we will have to take care of this. Then we write two Martingale programs in this class right now. Because if you have a look at Martingale strategies, they actually follow two concepts always. So you can either have a uh, Martingale strategy that increases the positions in one direction. So first of all, you have, for example, a sell position. And if the market is or the market price is increasing, you will just build up more and more sell positions. This is what I call it one direction Martingale EA here in this course. And here you, will, uh, you can watch 10 videos where you get a step by step explanation of how to write this program. This program uses two moving averages. If they cross, we will have the first entry signal. And then whenever they cross again, or you can use a grid, there's a little bit of flexibility in this program. You will see it once you watch the videos. Um, you will build up more and more positions until the positions are closed. Also, I always feature several exit scenarios here. For example, we have the take profit and a fixed money amount always. Then we have to take profit and points and also a trailing stop. So these are the three essential exit strategies for Martingale um, programs. You usually do not have a trailing stop. This is um, yeah in, in the raw idea of a Martingale strategy, not really the plan. So you use different take profit mechanisms to um, then, yeah, uh, close the positions and yeah we also have a look at some testing and optimization because this is kind of important for martingale strategies also you cannot just over optimize everything because these strategies even though they have a really big 
Um, profit ex expectancy, they're also a little bit risky or oh, actually really risky. So you have to know what to look out for when testing and optimizing these strategies. And then we write in chapter four, we write the second program, which is a two direction martingale. So there was a difference compared to the first one. The first one was only opening sell positions, for example, for one series or one block of trades. The two direction martingale is a little bit different. Here we have some kind of range. And in this range, we always trade the buy breakout. And if this does not work, the sell breakout, then again, the buy breakout, sell breakout. Or if we start with the sell breakout first, we then trade sell buy, sell buy. So we always trade into the direction of the breakout. So these are essentially the two Martingale strategies that you can see and the two concepts that you can use. I know there's a variety of modifications of these two ideas, but in the end, if you see a martingale or grid strategy, it's always based on one of these two concepts. So for the second expert advisor, we will have a look at how we can calculate such a range. In this uh, case, it is based on time. And then we open the first position, martingale position. We have the exit scenarios again. I chose the same exit scenarios here with the take profit and a money amount or in points and the trading stop just to show you the comparison and how the implementation is different from like between these two EAs. Also, we will have a look at the on trade transaction event handler and global variables on a meter trader scale that we use to make this program crash safe. So this is um, essentially what you will learn. Also, let's have a look maybe at um, the video so you get a feeling of how it looks if you watch the videos. So for example, here, this is the basic chapter where I just explain all the things. And you can see compared to the videos, for example, that you know from YouTube, these videos are really in depth. So it's not like a, just a 10 minute video where I explain variables, but I really take the time for every single chapter to really explain everything so you can understand it and you can really use it. So, oh, I forgot to add the length here. This is what I will do after I record this. But you can see these videos are always a little bit longer than on YouTube. So I really want you to understand how it works so you are able to use it on your own for your next program. So um, yeah, orders, deals, positions. So there's a lot you have to watch in order to understand everything. And um, yeah, everything is really explained kind of slow paced or compared to YouTube, it's easy, um, easier to understand, far easier to understand. And yeah, while I skip through the videos, you can always read the brief description here. So yeah, I think you have the chance to get a good feeling about what, what you will learn here. Also, you have the chance to get the complete course after the, um, at the end of these chapters. But again, I do not recommend to use the course, uh, the, the code that I put here. I recommend that you write it on your own because that's the only way that you will learn something. And then this is the next expert advisor. Yeah. Also, there are videos, um, I don't know, around two hours long where I explain everything you need to know to write this program. And yeah, this is it. This is um, the current content list for this uh, for this class. I hope that you like it. Okay, so far we added the important features. Okay, now I started a video, um, but I hope you like it. Oh, and also one uh, another cool thing is, um, let me turn up the quality a little bit so we can actually programs. see what's happening. And maybe I can make mute the, the sound. Um, what we can also see here is, this is for example one video that I'm playing now, and there are um, these subtitles that are... Um, automatically generated, but these are really good. So you can use them to, if you do not really understand my English, you can use them to also um, read what I'm saying, which can also be, um, be helpful here. So yeah, that's, that's it pretty much. Hope you like the class. Feedback is always appreciated. Just um, write me an email, for example, if you 
took part in the Martingale class and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, have a great time and have fun, have fun watching the videos and programming Martingale strategies.